The current status of batch attachment for K probes and and trampolines. This this is kind of long ongoing work, but there has been some progress. So basically, I'll sum up what's done and what actually still needs to be done. So batch attachment. Basically, want, we want to speed up attachment of uh, BPF programs. If you have a BPF program and you want to attach it like to thousands of functions through K-probe or BPF trampoline, uh, that's what we're trying to uh, like provide API to make it uh, make it fast. Um, basically, you need you need the API because uh, at the moment there was no suitable API for that and. Uh, in addition to the API, also the BPF program needs to have like a way to find out because now the BPF program is executed from uh, multiple functions. So it needs to find out which function actually triggered the BPF program and it needs to have a way to access the arguments uh, for the BPF program. So basically we ended up uh, having uh, new helpers for that, which will give you these values. And also, there's a possibility for each each symbol or address to add user value. User can like uh, specify the pointer uh, of user data for each IP address, and that can be retrieved by the BPF program when it's executed. So basically, that uh, that's what we need for batch attachment. The the API that will do it uh, in a fast way and uh, and some support in the BPF program. So it all started a long time ago. I started adding the support for BPF trampolines, but it turned out it's, uh, it needed a lot of uh, preparation works. And at some point I was actually asked uh, how, how it would look like for K-probe. And it turned out that it would be much faster to do and there would be uh, maybe even bigger benefit so all the work i actually took the key probe uh, detour and and made it available for for detour so i will describe how it works for k probe which is actually um, the and the support is already already merged and then i will uh, describe where we are with the bpf uh, trampolines so k probe as such is quite generic interface it allows you to add probe almost everybody uh, everywhere uh, in the system so there are like uh, there is this api register k probe where you say uh, where you pass the k probe object where you specify which address and it's not really uh, attach uh, friendly interface uh, multi attach uh, friendly uh, interface uh, because when I actually started to uh, adding the possibilities to add like multiple uh, symbols to the K probe, it was uh, denied, like uh, maintainers didn't want to touch this interface. And also, based on the discussions, it turned out that when you want to uh, attach to thousands of functions, you don't want this generic functionality that you are able to attach in the middle of the functions. Basically, when you want to attach to thousands of functions, you are interested just on the on the entry of the function, and that actually uh, that was uh, that was the breakout here because k probe as such, uh, when you put it when you place it on the entry of the functions, uh, the attach layer for that is f trace. So k probe uh, subsystem is using f trace to actually attach uh, the function. And when we got the F-trace involved, uh, it was basically the win because F-trace allows you to attach uh, to all the, almost all the functions in the kernel and it can do it uh, very fast. And it's already running the K-Pro program, so there's no, uh, there's no problem uh, even there. So how it actually looks like uh, you have a 
you have a function uh, and from the profile call uh, in the function uh, there's a special f trace ops uh, hook which is executed uh, when the function is executed and this hook is actually calling the uh, kproke callbacks like the pre-handler and and uh, post handler uh, i was actually some of those uh, preparation part sets that I sent was actually to add uh, multiple symbols to the KPro object, but that was denied. And after discussions, uh, Masami added uh, the new uh, probe. It's called F probe, and it's basically wrapper API for F trace function tracer. It's based on F trace, it's the wrapper, so it's very multi. IP attach uh, friendly and yeah it's using the F trace so F trace uh, takes uh, the addresses or symbols and attach uh, attach the hook and, and calls uh, the hook and also adds the multiplexing so if there's like other other tracers attached uh, to the functions that they are attaching to it will actually manage that everything gets uh, gets executed. So this is like uh, this is a new interface that's easy to use. Register F probe, and you can pass the addresses or the symbols or even like a regular expression that's understood uh, by the F trace. And yeah, basically it looks like it looks like the K probe on the entry. The only difference is that each F probe is having their own F trace. Uh, ops object, uh, which its own uh, F probe handler, and this F probe handler will call uh, uh, the entry and the exit handler, which is uh, which is specified in the F probe object. So, with this, we had actually the way uh, to attach to to have the callbacks from multiple syst uh, from uh, multiple functions. So, the only thing that we had to add was uh, the interface between the user that would actually uh, that would actually register all the functions and the bpf program uh, together so there's new link bpf link it's called kprobe multi and it uses uh, fprobe as a touch layer and it does the connection between the like it provides the user interface to actually connect all those functions uh, to the to the program uh, this is this is the same picture as for f probe uh, the only difference is that k probe uh, multilink is actually providing its own handler and this handler is called for every function and it's actually executing uh, the uh, the bpf program so that's like the all execution uh, path how does the interface looks like? So on the kernel side, uh, it's new link. So there has been like addition to the BPF uh, link create command. So there is new structure, Kprob multi, where you can specify all the symbol, all the other C's, or the other C's, and you can specify uh, cookies, which are the user data for each symbol or the address. Uh, it's existing link rate command, so the BPF program actually is like the FD uh, FD field uh, in that uh, in that attribute. So that's on the kernel side. On the libbpf side, there's similar addition uh, for the BPF link rate. So you can use it like this. You provide the uh, program FD, say that you want to use the BPF uh, Kpro multilink and uh, in the options, there there is new structure where you can actually specify all the symbols or the addresses or uh, or the cookies. And there's one more extra function: BPF program attach kprobe multi options, uh, which basically do the same on on higher level. You can specify uh, the program, the BPF program. Uh, you can also specify uh, like the regular expression uh, for the functions that you want to attach. 
if you don't specify that, you can use the options, uh, which are basically, again, the same. You can specify symbols or addresses and optionally do cookies for, uh, for each address. And yeah, I said it's based on F-Trace, so it's, uh, it's, it's fast. Uh, we actually have even self-tests uh, that will read the F-Trace, F-Trace file, which gives you like all the functions that are traceable in the, func in, in the system. And we will attach like simple program to all those functions and we, we measure how, how fast we can do that. So in this setup, you can see like almost uh, 50,000 functions we were able to attach uh, in less uh, than one second. So thank you, F-Trace. It works and it's fast. Uh, who is actually using it uh, at the moment? So these are users that I'm aware of. BPF Trace was like uh, the initial implementation, like the uh, the support in BPF Trace uh, I was using to actually test uh, the feature. Uh, their support uh, for Tetragon uh, in the form of pull requests at the moment, because we, um, we are waiting for the eBPF uh, library to actually merge the support uh, for multiple K probes. And there's pull requests that actually adding the K probe, uh, multiple K probe support for uh, the Tetragon. Red Snoop is using that as far as I know. And based on the questions that I'm getting on the chats, there are probably also other users. So it's being used. So that was the success part of the presentation now trampoline um, badge attachment which is uh, still ongoing effort uh, basically um, what we outlined some uh, some time ago uh, what we need to do is like to have uh, to have a way uh, to have generic trampoline so to be able to create trampoline that can be called uh, from uh, multiple functions and this trampoline must provide uh, the programs the ability to get the argument values to get the IPs uh, while being executed from uh, different different functions then uh, the actual interface that is attaching trampolines to the functions uh, was slow because it was designed just to attach one function so we needed enhancement in that and as it turned out something that I call mixing trampolines is causing uh, troubles uh, at the moment so yeah those few those first two bullets actually they're done and merge and I will be discussing the next one so quickly about the generic trampoline so trampoline uh, is now generated uh, in a way that it can when it's called from multiple sites like from multiple functions the program inside the trampoline can actually get the information about the arguments and can get information about the ip address and can get the cookies so basically we can use the trampoline that we have uh, at the moment and we don't uh, we don't need any any other special uh, trampoline the f trace uh, direct api so that's something that we use when we have the trampoline and we want to attach it uh, to the function. Uh, so this is like the current interface it looks like there's just a single uh, IP address and the address uh, of the BPF trampoline. So if you want to attach like thousands of trampolines, you need like a thousand times to call a register, uh, register uh, function. Um, the way uh, the attachment actually work is that uh, from the profile call of the function, like uh, in this example, the schedule, from the profile call, uh, we call uh, sorry, we call uh, directly uh, the trampoline, and the trampoline environment actually expects that. So it actually expects that the register will have the values of uh, like uh, what's being called uh, when we are called the, uh, into the functions uh, these register values needs to uh, go to the uh, 
uh, trampoline image and of course that includes uh, also the on the stack what the direct interface does is it will actually connect the trampoline uh, like this and if there are other users of that function other f users of that function uh, f trace will run those users first and then at uh, instead of returning back to schedule it will uh, run the bpf trampoline uh, if there is one attached uh, to the function so the trampoline will always have uh, this kind of environment like all the register uh, values that comes uh, to the uh, to the function uh, we added a new interface to be able to attach the trampoline to multiple functions in a very fast way. So uh, there are three new functions, register ftrace direct multi with the multi uh, suffix, where you say like the ftrace ops object that you can initialize with all the addresses that you want to uh, attach to. So instead of calling like multiple times uh, the previous interface, now we can uh, we can do it in in one call and in a in a very fast way so the trampoline uh, uh the trampoline can get all the data and we, we have a way to attach it uh, in a very fast way uh now actually it turned out there's a problem uh that i call uh, mixing trampolines so at the moment the situation looks like this uh, we support only single trampolines that means each function can have attached just uh, one trampoline, so there's actually, there's no mixing. If we add the concept of the multi-trampoline, so say you want one uh, trampoline, BPF trampoline image to serve on uh, multiple functions, uh, you can do that, uh, it will look like that, and if you actually allow uh, this multiple trampoline to mix uh, with the single trampoline that is currently uh, attached, it brings another complexity and even worse if you want to mix like two multi trampolines together. Uh, the complexity comes from the fact that the actual attachment to the function, there can be always just one single trampoline. So if you actually want to call, if you want to mix the trampolines and call multiple functions from uh, from two trampolines from one function, you actually need to generate one special trampoline that will call all the needed uh, programs because there will be only uh, one trampoline attached to the function at the time. So in this case, when you have uh, mixed trampolines, the actual attached trampolines uh, on the functions, there will be uh, actually three trampolines uh, as a result of mixing uh, those two trampolines so uh, you will have uh, trampoline one that needs to call uh, program two trampoline two that needs to call both program from both uh, both programs from both uh, trampolines and the rest just for program one from uh, multiple trampoline one and yeah even worse if you uh, if you like keep adding uh, new trampolines, the complexity uh, gets in the same way and you actually uh, start splitting uh, the trampolines and yeah, uh, so, so that's the current problem. It's basically, yeah, it's a problem. I, I, I send a patch set uh, on this, but the it was uh, quite complex and uh, I guess because of that it didn't get uh, much uh, much review. Uh, so I actually uh, came back to allow just mixing of multiple and single trampolines, which turned out to be much simpler and manageable. And yeah, so about it all uh, started again in the discussion if we should support also mixing uh, the multi multi trampolines so uh, that's that's basically uh, that's basically uh, the current current status 
And maybe as I was discussing with Andrew uh, before, the question might be if there is actually need <laughs> for interface for uh, multi-attaching uh, of the trampolines. At the moment, we have the uh, interface to attach like multiple functions for the cape ropes. And as for Tetragon, that's currently what what we need. So also my question would be, what's the real use case? And yeah, with that. Okay, so I have a comment. Uh, well, first it's like not exactly clear from your slides, like what's the actual problem, right? Of mixing trampolines besides just like conceptual that you need like to split into multiple subsets, but I know what it is, but like no one else does. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, basically uh, is the complexity of splitting the trampolines. Uh, what the first patch said here does it, it you need to create uh, another layer of it abstraction because BPF trampoline comes with the link and is stored in the link. And if there's another trampoline coming and it needs to split existing trampoline, you're actually splitting somebody else's uh, trampoline and he needs to know about that. So uh, there needs to be like extra layer uh, for that. So that's, that's one problem. Another problem is the locking, which is uh, which is tricky. You every time you split the trampoline, uh, you need to take the lock uh, for the trampoline. And if you are splitting like hundreds of the trampolines, that can that can get ugly. And yeah, well, it's actually it's implemented implemented in this RFC uh, pack set that I'm mentioning here. And yeah, that was that was the biggest pain. So I wonder whether it's possible to have a trampoline of trampolines. So we don't really split the actual trampoline, but have another layer that uh, allows different trampolines to jump back into. So one other thing that the part set is actually doing, it's uh, removing the trump links and it's storing uh, it's storing the programs for the trampoline in array. Uh, the reason for that is uh, once you split the trampoline, you end up with single program being attached to multiple trampolines. So we needed to store it uh, in a different way. So I'm not sure I answered it. So if you can go back to like previous slides where you had like those multiple trampolines mixing, right? So like if you have TM1 attached and then you want to attach like single trampoline to function seven, for example, you cannot just attach it to trampoline one because it will be also called for function five, six, eight, and so on, right? So you need to split the existing trampoline. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to have uh, another layer of trampoline, basically, uh, if you have another trampoline to function seven, that trampoline will be, so everyone will jump to a special uh, trampoline. And that trampoline will be somehow smart enough to get you to first uh, TM, uh, TM1 and you jump to the other one for function seven. Ah, you mean like chaining the trampoline's execution? Yeah, you have chaining for the trampoline, but this, of course it's difficult because you have F entry and F exit. But I think the benefit is like you don't have to have this split. And that may be slow, but uh, I will consider that a corner case that we're just making it work. And, but uh, it's a slow, it's okay. But, but this would course, probably not work for exit handlers, right? Because the trampoline is actually calling the... Uh, <laughs> but would it, wouldn't this require to create multiple trampolines, one trampoline for each function? Like from the very beginning. So like, let's say, we have nothing attached. Now we try to attach TM1. Like, it seems like what you're proposing is to have like trampoline for function three and then separate trampoline for function four and so on, which will eventually call into TM1, right? Just so you cannot, you shouldn't split afterwards. So like that, even if it's like not slow, it's just memory hungry. Uh, 
I don't think we need a separate trampoline for each function, but we need probably a execution plan or something. It's like lookup table, say where you want to go. It will be slow, but uh, I don't think it will be slow. So slow is not not an issue here. But song was what you're proposing like totally makes sense, except for the case when the trampoline is calling a regional function. If you have two trampolines, both of them potentially will call a regional function twice, and it will be like really hard. So what you're proposing like it it works and brilliantly and like avoids all the complexity that. Uh, uh, GD hit, uh, but it only works for F entry. For F madred, it's not clear which one you would be modifying because you need to like transfer the value, the return value from this nested trampoline somewhere to the other one. And that's where it gets the same level of complexity. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I had that uh, problem in mind. I haven't think about whether it is, uh, I, I, I was under the impression that it's probably possible to hack through, but I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. I might be, I may be wrong. You, you probably thought about it thoroughly and think it's impossible. This is what you're saying. Initial knob will jump to uh, uh, an image that will be more, more jumps into different trampoline images, different trampoline locations, or is that, uh yeah something like that so you have some... knob jump and then i call, or call or call to this image and then call to this the other image like and then back here and then call and then back here so something like you probably go back after f entry call function and then go back to oh, you got multiple f entry companies you go through all of them then you yeah, you will need, yeah, it's, it will get a bit messy. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's just, uh, actually, what about we have two separate trampolines for F entry once and F exit once? F more rats. <laughs> no. <laughs> well. I, I think it's like not that hard to split conceptually, right? And like even with locks, you can order them by address, like take all of them. Like this is like not a super fast, you know, in, in the sense like we don't call like thousands of times per second, like multi attacks, right? Uh, you, you were like one of the problems was that like, you have like one link keeps one trampoline. That mm -hmm. was the problem. So like splitting like trampoline afterwards for some other link was the problem, right? Yeah. So like one way to solve that would be like that we have one trampoline that has multiple images and then images can be attached to multiple subsets of functions, right? That way, like you don't have to modify original links and just original trampolines, but that's fine. Cause like you need to- lock Yeah, them basically anyway. that's what implemented like in the yeah. multi multi parts that I sent. Yeah, but it yeah. brings- it. As to like you were asking about the, uh, like the need for this, right? Like I see two advantages to that. First, like it's slightly faster than K-prop, right? In terms of like invocation of that and second, and that was kind of original motivations that like you have F exit, which has input arguments stored, right? So like there are, there might be use cases where you want to capture generically like input arguments in F exit. Mm. I don't have those use cases right now, but like that's just one of the advantage, right? Right. And there is a question on the chat, right? Question, if it, F trace hook has multiple trampolines. Are those trampolines called from a wrapper function or mixing trampoline code into one? I can I can read it again. <laughs> yes, I, I didn't get it. If a trace if F trace hook has a multiple trampolines, are those trampolines called from a wrapper function or mixing trampoline code into one? So F trace so. It's important to know that the trampoline, the BPF trampoline is executed after F-trace does everything. Uh, and F-trace, if there are multiple functions uh, attached to F-trace, uh, there's like, uh, it will execute them before the BPF trampoline gets executed. There's only one BPF trampoline linked to the function there. There's like 
you cannot have like say to the F trace attach me uh, attach uh, multiple BPF trample lines to one single function. It's it's always just one. So this this uh, direct F trace thing where the F trace does its business and then it goes to BPF directly. Uh, the F trace maintainers are not very keen on porting this to other architectures. I would say. So they and 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 they mostly like this was a thing that they shouldn't have done on x86 rather. So have you run into any of these conversations with the F trace folks? And if Steve is here in the audience, he could answer this as well. Uh, um, not really. Yeah, I I think Stephen wasn't happy about adding the interface, but I I so, didn't hear, hear any other complaint about it. So the thing is, that what they want to do is they want to make this BPF uh, trampoline and F trace op as well. Right, and I I think that has this extra register. I mean, this is what Floro has been working on, and this has this extra register saving that happens as a result of that, mm. and and that is less performant, but that is needs to be proven. So, and this is what effectively blocks the current BPF uh, support for ARM trampolines. All right. Yeah. So we should do a buff of this uh, yeah. and get some clarity on this as well. Are mm -hmm. I, are we as BPF okay with the uh, it being an op on at least arm or or is f trace okay with providing like a f trace direct support for arm right i'll throw another question into this uh how hard would you think it would be to implement multi-attach u probe <laughs> right yeah, I don't know much about the U-probe, so. <laughs> so. I think that would like immediately benefit both PPF trace and Red Snoop, right? Like there are use cases where, especially like think about USDT, for example. USDT is actually one to many mappings. Like one USDT is potentially many, many different places in the user space process. So uh, supporting USDT efficiently requires multi U-probe, apart from all other use cases. So, so we were very lucky in the K-probe side that it was actually running on the F trace. If, if it wasn't, I don't think we would be this fast with the implementation, but it was based on the F-Trace and F-Trace does all the hard work here. So I'm not sure how you probe is implemented and probably all, <laughs> all depends on that. Yeah. So I have a question about how this even, let's say we solve the split part I think we, from the F-trace part, we cannot do the atomic switch, right? So initially we only have one uh, multi, or oh, one single attach, there's a direct function. We have to switch that direct function, well, to another direct function, right? Oh, uh, and, uh, I don't think like uh, F trace support you switch from one direct to another. You only have modify the call. The address. interface. The interface is basically yeah. You you always attach one trump line to one function, and that's that's it. It, it, it doesn't allow any other uh, setup. The concern is that the mystery. Yeah, so there is no, there is no, so like this trampoline like doesn't add anything new, it doesn't make anything worse, it doesn't make anything better. Like from the F3 side, the attachment is not atomic to multiple. So I think what Song is actually worried about is like, if we had like this multi trampoline attached to like function seven and others, right? And then we want to attach something else to function seven, right? Like, will we be able to atomically switch to a new trampoline, new image for function seven? And I think yes, because that's how like the current trampoline works, right? Like you can update the image and then swap it, no? Uh, no, so you have, say you have two functions, one, already attached to uh, one trampoline attached to function one and two, and you want to attach another one just to function two. And from f point of view, that will be two separate uh, direct uh, calls. They will be separate. There's no longer one multi f uh, multi-direct uh, F-trace ops. And, but that switch, 
will not be atomic, meaning we may miss a little events in between. And that's how that's, we were missing event for the one already attached before, and that one is not uh, expecting to lose event. If that's the case, that would mean that like when you have attached f entry and f exit, and you like you attached f entry to some function, and then you attach an f exit program to the same function, then we can lose f entry call. Is that the case today? I don't think so. It is. No, it, it's about swapping image, not the trampoline, right? And like from f, from f, f trace, it's just like atomic switch for that particular function. So I think that's fine. It's like one pointer, right? So like we swap one pointer, basically. No, but initially you have a uh, function one and two, they are sharing the same pointer. But later, if you attach another uh, trumpet to function two only, they will have two different pointers. So like the, the way to do that, like one way to do this would be like you create a new trampoline that has function like one program call and another program call to function two, right? So like you have a new trampoline that calls two BPF programs for one fu function. And then like for function two, you just swap it. And whatever was attached to function one is stay stays attached with the original trampoline. As Jiri said, it's complicated. It's, it's kind of, yeah. So we are running way out of time, but we have break as well. So we can take it offline. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs>